Alrighty, so it says I'm live here supposedly. So far I have no image to confirm that. Usually takes a few seconds. So let's see. There we are. All right, so we are live. It's exciting, man. I'm like nervous and nervous and excited, um, even though I'm not the one winning anything today. But uh, I'm just so happy to give you guys, whoever entered that VR contest, an opportunity to own a fantastic holster. So I started a few minutes early because I was making sure everything's up and running. And um, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to show this to you right now. And, and if you guys wouldn't mind, just let me know in the comments if it looks good, um, just so that I know what I'm looking at. So I found this website and I'm going to screen share it. So when it comes up, you let me know if you guys can see it. All right. Does everybody see that screen share? It says random.org. I actually cut it off because I don't have it fully uh, exposed, but uh, is it up? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I look precious. Thanks, Big Johnson. So it is up. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I'm going to stop screen sharing just for the moment. You can see my beautiful face. And uh, so now we know it works. So as people start to kind of roll in, I don't expect to have a tremendous amount of people showing up. It is sort of early, but it is Sunday. I didn't want to do this too late because I have some other things I want to do today. Um, besides this, like for example, I want to start a video on this thing right here, which is my M&P 2.0 five inch in the 45 ACP. You notice I already threw the, uh, the apex trigger on there because the stock trigger on this was horrible so uh, now that i have that i love it fantastic so i'll be doing something like that i don't know um yeah i know ks i will make it wider i just wanted to uh you know make sure that it showed up so i will be making sure that when the drawing takes place everyone will have a clear indication of what's going on so as many of you start rolling in here right now we got 16 watching um, we'll see how many thumbs down this can actually get before the end of it <laughs> So uh, that seems to be a trend with giving away free things, um, whatever. So uh, let's see, it's 301. So at 305, I'll kind of explain what I'm going to be doing process wise in regards to making sure that everybody sees that this is all on the up and up. Although Dirt Road already won the holster uh, because this is already pre-taped um, or pre-recorded. Um, he already won. But uh you know, just to indicate that this is live, if somebody would like to ask me a question, I will directly answer your question so that we know that this is actually running live because I don't want any of our little snowflakes out there to feel that uh, they've been left in the dark. So it says, Everyday 2A saying, Smith & Wesson should just buy out Apex since that's pretty much the first thing ever done to them. Yeah, I, you know, it'd be interesting to see if they have a, a really close partnership, but then that would eliminate their other trigger markets for example, Glock, um, and obviously the FNN, which is going to be coming out hopefully soon. So I don't, I don't think they would need to do that. You know, there's a demand for their product, so stay independent for as long as they can. And then, of course, Lester's asking me right now, do I like the 2.0? I don't like them. I love them. I have a compact. I have a four and a quarter inch, and now the the five inch in the 45 ACP. Just great shooting handguns. If you guys don't have a 2.0, highly recommend them because they are really just that good. All right, so I have that there are seven people or 17 people watching. So um, uh, Keith Gregory saying the 2.0 M&P triggers are better. Um, you know, they are better than the original M&Ps, but keep in mind that original M&P, they actually upgraded those triggers before they came out with the 2.0 series. And I thought the upgraded trigger in the older M&P is exactly the same as the new M&P 2.0's trigger. But I, I will tell you that this thing I bought uh, used, it was 325 couldn't pass it up. I mean, it's barely used. And uh, the stock trigger on this was absolute dog crap. And uh, that's why I immediately um, contacted some folks over at Apex. They sent me this trigger out and I installed it uh, the day I picked it up. And it's just amazingly much better. And uh, okay, so um, who's your archer saying, sorry, technically issues got to go. <laughs> all right you lost you're not winning i'm just kidding um yeah it was definitely a great deal uh every once in a while you go into this local gun shop that overprices for all of its guns and they usually have some decent uh trade-ins and they're usually decent prices on their used handguns it just depends on what you're looking for and one of the funny things was i was actually looking at this in a stoger cougar in the 8045s and i like the cougar you know rotating barrel all that great stuff it's a huge gun thick heavy 
but uh, they wanted two, I think 275 for it. And the thing looked like it was brand new, but then this came in and I said, really between the two and the difference in price is negligible in my opinion. So I went with this because I love, I love the 2.0 series. It's a great series. Okay. And then Keenan saying he got rid of his M&P 45 a couple of years ago, totally different trigger. Go get yourself that apex. It makes a world of difference. It makes it a, uh, in my opinion, top five striker fired handgun, no doubt. All right. So let's see. Grand Power. Yeah, I've been looking at those, but I don't know. There's just more of, a, for me, that Grand Power is more of like a, a eh factor, you know? I don't know. It doesn't really do anything for me. <clears throat> and then Lester's saying, please don't go the way of the CZ. Lester, I hate to tell you, buddy, I am a CZ fan. I uh, have been for a very long time. I have a couple of P01s. I have a P07 coming in, maybe a P09 coming in. I'm not sure. But um, just not a fan of the P10. And many of you know why. All right. So let's start let's start slowly. Let's let's get the uh, the tension up a little bit in this uh, this live stream. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hold this piece of paper up and you can see my terrible penmanship. And hopefully you can see that. But those are all the names of everybody uh, on this side right here. These are the VRs on this side here. This is the bag. See, bag, VR. Um, and basically what I did was if you made a VR for me, I emailed myself the VR. I wrote down everybody's names on a piece of paper, this one right here. And then I assigned everybody a name, 1 through 21, or excuse me, a number. On the other side, same thing with the bag. If you left a comment in the section of the comment section, what I did was I wrote your name down and then I assigned you a number. And uh, so right now there's 14 people for the bag and 21 for the VR. Now, in regards to the bag, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of discussed this with my wife a little bit because she's smarter than me sometimes, most of the time, all the time. And uh, what I basically was trying to think about is if you entered for the bag, but then made a VR, should I put you in for both? Um, you know, unfortunately, I didn't want a double winner because then that would really suck for everybody else. So if you entered the bag, but then you made a VR or vice versa, I took you out of the running for the bag. Um, and yes, Big Johnson, that includes you too. Sorry. Uh, just because I wanted to make sure that we had, hopefully, hopefully, we'll see, uh, that we have two separate winners. So that we have one winner for the bag, which I have right here. So that's the little range bag. Okay. Uh, again, it's not much, nothing fancy. Okay. But it is usable. And, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, and if you don't, well, then tell me you don't want it and I'll keep it. Um, also, if you are the winner of the bag, when you send me an email, give me a list of all the handguns that you own. And I'm going to see if I can throw something extra in for you. Okay. Because uh, I felt kind of bad that it's just a bag, but uh, I'll see if I have something laying around that can be of use to you. Uh, so if you are the winner of the bag, make sure when you send me the email, uh, you put uh, the type of handguns you own, the model. Uh, and all that other great stuff, just so that I know. And if I have something laying around, uh, I'll surprise you and throw something in the bag for you. Okay? Sound good? Hopefully. If not, pfft, to you. Uh, in regards to the VRs, uh, you know, again, there's 21 of you. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be exciting. You guys are going to have an opportunity to uh, basically order your own custom holster from Black Arch Holsters. And um, I'm super excited for you. Uh, the winner of the bag, I think, is going to be awesome. Uh, or excuse me. It's going to be awesome for the bag winners too. I, I don't want to play that down, but the people who are going to win the holster, I think you guys are going to really, really like the holster you get. Again, this is really about you and customizing it. Uh, I'm not, again, I don't want to concentrate too much on the negativity because for all the negativity that's been around this giveaway, there's been much more positive behind it. And, and I appreciate everyone who went out and made the VRs. And again, if you couldn't do it, that's fine. Um, there were a lot, you know, I won't say a lot, but there were definitely some people who I think have some mommy issues who felt that they should not have to do a VR to win the holster. And that's great. And when you have your own channel and you have the opportunity to give away something, you do it the way you want. But I chose to do it this way. And I'm totally 100% okay with that. And I'm not apologizing to anyone for it. Again, the rules were simple. All you had to do is make a VR. You basically had to say, if you have experience with them, why you think they're awesome and the best holster out there. Um, and if you didn't have any experience with them, all you had to do was say, hey, I went to their website and this is what I like about them. So it wasn't really complicated. And like I said, you're going to have an opportunity to pick up an awesome, awesome, awesome holster. And, you know, I, I look, the only reason why I'm pushing these holsters isn't because they pay me. It isn't because, you know, they say, hey, you're the best YouTube channel. 
I do this because I use their stuff. I mean, I use these holsters more often than not. And um, the, the reason why I like them, very simply, super comfortable. They mold very well to your body. Uh, they hold the gun no matter what size handgun you have. They hold them perfectly with a good belt. And um, I stand behind these products 100%. You know, and I know they have great customer service. I know that they warranty their products. And um, if I'm willing to use something and I can explain that to all of you and you guys go out and buy them, great. But this gives you an opportunity to own one without having to purchase it. And I think for me, the biggest thing is, is that, you know, somebody who may not have a lot of money, um, we'll have an opportunity to own one of these. Now, with that said, uh, one of the things I also want to say is to those of you who came out and did the VRs, thank you very much for doing that. I do appreciate it. And especially those of you out there who made VRs and have never done them before. There was a lot of people having issues with that, saying it's not fair, blah, 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 blah. You know, we had Dirt Road who stepped up and made a, a tutorial video um, and showed people how easy it was. So a big shout out to Dirt Road. Again, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, go to that channel. He's a good guy shoot some pretty cool stuff, love his slow motion stuff. Um, and I do appreciate him doing that. And uh, it just showed how easy it really was. And there were several people who made VRs who have never done them before. And uh, it was kind of funny to watch because, you know, by them doing that, it really is, I, I think, eye opening for people to realize just how much goes into making these videos, uh, what the time constraints could be, especially if you edit and all that other stuff. But uh, I do appreciate everybody, you know, taking part in it. And, um, and so let's start with the bag, shall we? All right, so let's go. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen share. Let me just uh, magnify this a little bit here. All right, let me go back to my Hangouts. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually screen share this website. And uh, when I share it with all of you, if uh, you don't mind guys in the comments, just letting me know uh, that it's up and running. Okay, uh, let me just expand that. All right. So if you could just let me know if that's up and running, I would really appreciate that. So you can see it's a website called random.org. And um, okay, so everybody says it's it's on. Does everybody see the screen moving up and down? Because obviously I don't want people to think, oh, this is pre-recorded, but it should be moving up and down as I scroll up and down. And you know, just to kind of put it in here um, and see me changing numbers and all that great stuff. All right, so basically how this works is random.org is super easy and it's super free, which is why I picked it. But basically what I'm going to do here is uh, because there are 14 people who won this bag, okay, all I need to do is change the numbers. That's it. So the minimum number is one and the maximum number is 14. So what random.org does is they actually will generate random numbers, okay? And uh, once that number comes up, whoever is num that number on the list, you're going to win the bag. And uh, again, when you send me the email... All you have to do is tell me what other guns you own, and I'll see if I have something else, a little extra to send you, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. All right, so is everybody ready? Hopefully. So here we go. All right, so we're going to, all I got to do is click on generate, guys. So we're going to see uh, more, yeah, the midget porn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. How did you know? Um, so here we go. All right, so the random number that was generated is number four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of the screen share. Okay. All right. So the screen share is over. So number four, and I don't know if you guys can see that. And if you can't, I'm going to read it to you anyway. But the winner of the bag is Scott F. So Scott, congratulations, buddy. You won the bag. Again, um, you know, shoot me that email. And Scott, I think you have my email. Uh, but if not, it's pretty simple. It's 1776 robust at Gmail. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. Uh, but send me that email. And, uh, you know, let me know uh, what guns you own, and I'll see if I can throw something else in there for you, buddy. So hopefully you enjoy the bag. Like I said, it's not much, but it is a little bit something. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Scott F. It leaves a lot of comments on videos for everybody, and he doesn't make any videos for himself. And uh, I do appreciate it because Scott F. Is, is a pretty solid guy. Okay. So, again, Scott F., you are the winner of the bag. All right. Fantastic. Woohoo! Uh, all right. So let's see. It is now... 313. All right. I want to make this too long because people get mad. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the screen share. All right. Application window. Oh, hold on. I just screwed that up. Let me go back in. Screen share. There we go. 
and share, and I will present to you everyone. Okay, so that screen should be back up, okay? All right, so this is the big one now. So there's 21 of you, okay? So I don't know, should I, should I drag this out a little bit? Everybody want me to drag this out? Want to talk about good stuff or, you know, puppy and puppies and kittens? All right, so let's just get through this. Let's, let's get this done. All right, so one through 21, as you can see, everything's live. So I have 21 candidates, and let's see what the number is. Ready? Here we go. Booyah. Number 11. All right, so the winner of the holster from Black Arch Holsters, this fantastic company, number 11, the person who wins it is going to love this holster. And it's fantastic. And I'm just totally bothering people by not saying who won it. But it is number 11, and that winner is Wiley Guns. So Wiley Guns, congratulations, brother. You have won a fantastic holster. Again, guys, I wish I had 21 holsters to give everyone here, but I don't. I had an opportunity with Black Arch, who is sponsoring this, to uh, give you guys an opportunity to win this bad boy. And so as a result, the winner is going to be Wiley Guns. Again, guys, totally appreciate every single one of you that did this. Um, you know, it, it's been a great journey. We're almost at 6,000 subs, which is crazy to think about. Um, but Wiley Guns, you got to shoot me an email, 1776 or busted Gmail. And uh, you just got to tell me the type of holster you want and everything. All the specifics for the model of gun, colors, camo, whatever the hell it is that you want, the type of clips. And then when you shoot that email to me, I will then contact uh, my contact through Black Arch Holsters. And uh, I also need your address because they got to mail it to you. And then what they'll do is they'll make that holster for you and they'll send it out to you. Okay. So guys, totally appreciate it. Appreciate every one of you. Um, you know, hopefully at some point I'll have an opportunity to do another one of these. Although I don't know, man, there was so much negativity surrounding it. I don't know if I want to do it again. Um, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. And if they're willing to help out again. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. I don't have anything else to say unless you guys want to stick around and talk about anything. If not, I'm going to sign off for today. Um, you know, stay tuned. At some point, I may release an MP45 video. I'm not sure. But uh, again, number 11 on the list right there, folks. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Right there. Wiley Guns. All right. And uh, I'm not a friend of his. He's not a friend of mine. He's just a lucky winner, guys. So again, guys, enjoy. And um, thanks again for everything. Everybody, bye. <laughs>